Hi guys, uh, my name is Samantha. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my very first video. This is my first video that I am uploading, but not my first video that I have recorded because I had a very unfortunate mishap with, um, I recorded a whole video and none of it had sound. So, because now I'm realizing that the camera that I bought came with a microphone and the microphone battery ran out and it's a whole thing. But I am gonna record again, obviously. That's what I'm doing. And I'm going to try to um, switch it up. I had this whole idea for my very first video that I thought it was gonna be like what kind of makeup I wear every day. Um, and I'm gonna save the other video that I did and do a voiceover. Um, I'm gonna have my fiance do the voiceover so that'll be fun, but I feel like it would be boring to do the exact same thing. So I'm gonna switch it up a little bit today. Um, if you would like to see more, we're gonna do like a mermaid smoky eye. Um, if you would like to see more, please keep watching. If you don't, that's fine too. I mean, that's shitty, but that's fine. And you can click off this video and you can give it a thumbs down or whatever it is you wanna do. Um, but I am going to get started and we're going to see what this whole YouTubing thing is about. I'm going to wash off the makeup that I do have on. It's not much, but I'm going to wash it off so we can start over and I will be right back. Okay, I am back and fresh faced. Um, I already put some moisturizer on. I'm using the Origins Charcoal Bamboo. I think is what it's called. It's got like a super long name, but it's supposed to be like uh, really good for your skin. It's supposed to like help you clear out. And I think it works. I've only used it a couple of times, but I was breaking out really bad last week. And so I started using it and it actually, I mean, I, my skin's really cleared up. So we'll see. Um, I start with a green color corrector because I have a lot of redness. And like I said, I was breaking out earlier um, this past week. So I want to make sure that I can cover that up. And because I am so pale, it um, it gets kind of difficult to cover up redness sometimes. Um, so I'm going to take the Tarte Found Sealer in the shade 16N and just put it on a damp beauty blender. And I see a lot of people on YouTube especially. I don't see a lot of people do this in real life, um, but I see a lot of people on YouTube do their eyes before their skin. And I've tried to do that and I just hate it. I don't know, it just, it, something feels really weird about it. Like, I just, I don't know. It just, I don't like when my eyes are done and my face isn't. I feel like the look looks wrong and then I get unhappy with the finished product and it's just not for me. Maybe I'll change my mind someday. But as of now, I'm really not loving it. Okay, so this is supposed to be a foundation and a concealer, but I'm a cakey ass bitch and I like to add a little concealer off the top just to brighten things up. This is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. I just throw a little bit under the eyes and a little bit on the lid because it's a really good primer, especially if you really want the look to pop. And I'm gonna cover up some breakouts, don't judge me. In the first video that I filmed, I was super nervous to get started and I was actually drinking. And I can't do that now because I started the South Beach diet and you can't drink for two weeks. And I'm pretty bummed about it. So I just wanted to like sit down and have a drink and we can like be having a drink together. Cause I like to drink and watch YouTube videos. I don't know about you. Um, but that's typically what I do. I'll like sit in the bath, watch the makeup tutorials. That's really my jam, but I mean, whatever. Um, okay. So I'm going to take a, an e.l.f. Ultimate Blending Brush. I'm not like fancy enough to know all the names of my brushes yet. Maybe I'll get there one day. But we'll see. I'm just gonna bronze it up. I'm using um, 
the Tarte Hamptons Weekend Contour Palette. I really love this bronzer. And to be honest, I don't actually love the other colors in it. This was a highlighter and I broke it. So, but I didn't even like it anyway, so it really didn't matter. I just really needed a new bronzer and I thought that I would like the, the blush in the highlighter in here and I really don't. The blush is way too dark for me and the highlighter was a little dark for me too. Cause I'm super duper pale. I'm gonna contour this chin so that it looks like I only have the one. Okay. Hopefully I learn how to edit videos so that way this can all be sped up, but I really don't know if I will. I don't do a super precise um, nose contour because I think it takes forever and it's mildly pointless. Um, people can still see your nose. It doesn't change that much. So what I do is kind of run the bronzer along the nose and then I dab my beauty blender on the bridge to like straighten it out. That's just me. I just usually don't have time to sit here and like contour my nose for three hours. And then it looks just mildly different at the end. I just really can't do that. I'm gonna take this e.l.f. Total Face Palette. It's got um, two blushes, a really, really shitty highlighter and um, a bronzer. The bronzer is not bad, but it's really light. Um, but the blushes are the real star of this show. I like to mix them. Let me just get it right there. And I just feel like, I don't know, like having my face done first makes me like my eyeshadow look better. You know, like I don't like it until I can see it all finished. I don't know if that's maybe just a me thing, um, but I just, I can't. Okay, so I'm taking the Through My Eyes ColourPop collaboration with Isla Sarai, and I'm gonna use a lot of these two green colors, just because I was looking through my palettes earlier and they were just really speaking to me. And I just really wanna do something fun and do something different. And now that I'm looking at this blush, it's looking a little bit intense. And I look a little bit crazy. Okay, that's better. Okay. So, I'm gonna start with this shade Sandalwood right here in the corner, and I'm gonna pop that onto my crease. Okay. And I don't even typically wear Makeup, like I wear makeup every day. Don't like, don't get me wrong, but I don't wear a lot of color. I don't wear a lot of greens and blues and I'll stick to like a lot of brown earthy tones. And I stick to like pinks and reds a lot. But when I get home, sometimes I just like to like wild out, especially if I get a new palette. This palette is fairly new. Like I haven't really played with all the colors yet, if you can tell. Um, and so I just am really into it right now. Feeling a little bit creative, had a long day. Um, and so on a separate brush, like I said, don't ask me the names of these brushes. I don't know, they're so old, I don't even know what brand they are anymore. So I'm gonna take this shade Moody right here. It's a dark, like foresty green. Oh, I think that's gonna be she is pigmented. Yep. Okay. And we're just gonna go for it. It looks almost black on my eye, actually. And we're just really gonna get in there. I actually um, really don't like this color so far. It looks so black. It doesn't even look green. Like, am I colorblind? This is definitely green, right? 
I don't. Well, this is the only eyeshadow palette I brought in this room with me, so we're gonna make it work. I think it's gonna be fine at the end. We'll see. Okay, so I just took that all the way around. This is the part where like, you look crazy. I always think, what if somebody like broke into my house while I'm in the middle of doing my makeup and I have like one eyebrow on and like no eyelashes? I think about that really often and I hate this like part where you just look insane. I know that if somebody broke into my house, like I'd have bigger fish to fry, but I just can't help but think about it. It's also like why I, I refuse to sleep naked. What if somebody comes to my house and I have to like leave, I have to like run out I can't deal with that. Okay. I know that I look super crazy right now. Just bear with me. So on the brush that I did the first sandalwood color, I'm gonna take in a wink right here. It's like a really soft pink. And I'm gonna run that along the top just to really soften this up and like really blend it out. Okay, cute, 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 cute. This color is getting this green moody is a little bit patchy. I don't know if it's these like ancient ass brushes that very well could be it. Like, let's be real about that. Cause I don't wanna talk shit about ColourPop cause I really love ColourPop, but I don't know. Okay, I'm just gonna deepen up the edge a little bit. Okay, great. Then on this Morphe like flat concealer brush, I'm gonna take a little bit of my ColourPop No Filter Concealer and just dab it like so and cut this crease out. Okay, and do the same on this side. I also like whenever I watch YouTube videos, they don't do both eyes at the same time. Like I feel like, I feel really weird if I don't do them. Like I can't do one full eye and then do the other eye because I'll forget what I did actually, to be honest. Okay, so these creases are cut up. I am gonna take a brush that I didn't bring in this room with me. Okay, cool. Oh, I lied to you. I did bring it. This is actually one of the brushes from the Naked, the Urban Decay Naked palette. I think it's probably the second or third one. And I don't even use those palettes anymore because those they were my jam in like middle school. I don't use them anymore, but this brush, amazing for, for applying like a shimmer shadow. I have like three of them, like I hoard them. Okay, so I'm gonna take Emerald Dream right here, this like stunning color. This is really the color that made me buy the palette and I've only used it one time. So that's on me. Okay. 
Are you, this color is ridiculous. Like, I wanna wear it every day. So I'm gonna take the fluffy side of this brush and pick up the same color and really just like blend it out at the edge where it meets the darker color. I love it. I love it so much. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same on the other side. Maybe it's like a secret YouTuber thing that I will unlock one day where I don't do my eyes at the same time. I really don't know, but I can't imagine a world in which I don't do that. It just freaks me out. Okay, and so on this brush that we did Moody on, I'm gonna take it back and I'm gonna really deepen this up because I decided that's what I wanna do. I die. I die. I love this. I love this so much. Um, I don't have a brush anymore for my inner corner because I would usually use this brush, but it's all green. I think it's fine. So I'm going to take this top right color right here, this like shimmery champagne color, and I'm going to pop it right here on the corner. I love an inner corner little pop because I just think it keeps your eyes looking really big and like doll-like. I just love it. This actually is turning into more of like a Mardi Gras situation, I think, with the gold now, but that's okay. Mardi Gras, mermaid, whatever you want to do with it, you can do that. Wear it to work. I don't care. So I'm just gonna run this underneath here. And just really smoke it out. Like I feel like you can really smoke this out and make it really dramatic because you're probably not gonna be wearing this to like work or school. Or you are and you love a dramatic eye and I love you for that. But I mean, most people probably wouldn't. So if you are gonna wear a look like this, like you're going out, do it up. Like, I don't care. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna take this um, Wet n Wild Mega Liner, which is my holy grail, everything to me, eyeliner that I've been using since probably seventh grade and I'm never gonna give it up. I've tried really high-end eyeliners. Like I've tried all of the luxury brands and I, they're not as good and I don't care. And they'll never make me that happy. Sorry, I dropped my eyeliner, so. So that eyeliner is done. This under here is looking a little bit insane. I'll just be real about that. But I think we got it covered. So a bitch has got a wing on. I realize I have not done my eyebrows yet. I usually do that before doing my eyeshadow, but I kind of got ahead of myself because I was really excited to start using this, um, these greens. So I was just really jazzed about it. But I'll fix it, don't you worry. wing was not my friend. Let's see if we can salvage her. I've been doing wing liners since I was like in seventh grade and I can't do it today. 
this eyeball, she's beautiful. She's living her best life. This one, so you can just ignore her. Once we put some lashes on, it's not even gonna matter, okay? Okay, um, I'm using the It Cosmetics Brow Power Pencil. I actually got this in, I, I, can't, I can't do that. I got this in my Sephora Play Box. Um, they give you the full size. And I really, really liked it when I got it in the box and then I went out and bought it. It's like $25 for a pencil that's, mm, it's like really not that much product. And I just, honestly, I'm not obsessed with it anymore. So if you have recommendations for like a good brow pencil, I do like the retractable pencils because I don't want to sharpen it. I'm not going to. Like I'm not also going to buy a sharpener. I'm not gonna do it. Oh, I just drew that on pretty heavy handed. It's cool. I mean, this whole makeup look is intense. So why not just have like super intense brows too? Who those are, those are dark. I'm not even sure if you can see on camera. Like these are really, we're gonna brush that out and try to soften that up because that looks mildly insane. I don't like a super intense brow. Um, I just, if your eyebrows are like the very first thing I like notice about you and like not in a good way, your friends are fake. I'm sorry, like you need to get better friends because your friends didn't tell you that your eyebrows look insane. Um, and that's shitty. So I'm not gonna let my friends walk around with shitty eyebrows. And I really hope they don't let me walk around with shitty eyebrows. Maybe I'm gonna look at this video and be like, wow, my friends are fake. Like I, mm, I think it's fine. I think it's good. Do you think it's good? I think it's okay. You can tell me if they're shitty and we can be friends. Don't mind me. I was just picking off the glue off my eyelashes cause I wore them earlier today because I am a wear eyelashes every single day type of bitch. And I don't even care. Like I, some days, if I'm feeling very lazy, will pop on like foundation, blush, eyelashes, period. Oh, that's not even the right eye. Okay. I kind of forgot that I was on camera for a second and I was just picking glue off my eyelashes, minding my own business, like a typical Tuesday night. I actually bought this palette because I saw Rob Beauty Christie do a similar look. I think it was similar. It's been a while now, so I can't remember, but I saw her do an incredible look with this ColourPop palette and I was like, I. It's done, it's sewn up, I'm going to buy it right now. And I did, I went to buy it like that day um, because I just, I loved it and I love her and she's my favorite YouTuber and I think that this lipstick is gonna be too dark. So let's not do that. This is the Fenty uh, Mademoiselle lipstick. Um, it's teeny tiny because I got it as a sample. Oh, actually I forgot to put on highlighter. Let me do that. Um, I am using the Becca Champagne Pop. Um, it's also super teeny tiny because I got it in my Sephora Play Box, but I really, I like the small ones because I, I get to use it for like a couple of months and then I don't have a bunch of extras. If I don't like it, then that's fine. Like I don't feel like I'm being wasteful. I really like my play boxes. If if y'all want me to do a video, like I can stack, you get five products a month and I can stack them up and like not open them and do an unboxing. Maybe that would be fun. And see if we can do a full face of the play box shit. That actually would be super fun. I'm looking over here cause my mirror's over here. 
this highlighter was so so hyped and it's it's pretty don't get me wrong i just i don't think it's like the end all be all of highlighters if we're being real the eight uh anastasia beverly hills and amrezy highlighter it's everything and you can't tell me otherwise no other highlighter is that good period this is some all may lip gloss that i got a really long time ago what is this rosy lipped is the name of it i don't even know if i bought this or i truly i, I actually just found it in my makeup drawer okay that's enough lip gloss man okay so this is the finished look um if you are like going to walk the streets later maybe this would be a good look if you are like going to church with your parents maybe this is a good look if you are going to the doctor's office it's a good look i don't care wear it anytime every time every day um i think it's pretty legit maybe i'll wear this to work this week i don't know i'd have to wake up really early but i think it's good let's do a little spritz Whew, that was a lot um this is the mario badesco facial spray with aloe um herbs and rose water because i don't feel like wasting setting spray because i'm actually um gonna go take a shower pretty soon because it's late and it's a tuesday and i have work in the morning and um that's really it um but i have a lot of fun videos planned i really hope that you liked this one and that you'll come back and watch the next one or you'll tell me i'm fucking horrendous and you'll give this video a thumbs down which is fine because engagement is engagement okay you can you can thumbs down it i don't care um but I have some fun stuff planned and I've been really wanting to get into this for a while and I just hope that you like it and I was fun and I hope that next time maybe when I pass the first two weeks of South Beach diet that we can like drink together like we can have a glass of wine a little wine and makeup time that would be fun um or maybe i'm gonna fall off this diet in a couple of days that's super likely and super plausible um if any of y'all have done the south beach diet and it it has worked or it has not worked you could let me know and motivate me to quit or motivate me to keep going <laughs> i don't really know um but thank you for watching this video and i hope to see you soon bye